Homuncular disassembly. I'm going to be doing this with the post still attached to the binocular, but you can do it just as well with the post completely removed. Now this applies to the 6x30s, 8x30s, 7x50s and the 10x50s service classes. Gas oculars are different. We'll cover them though in a minute. So first, we extend the focus all the way out. We then grasp and hold firmly the diopter scale, not the knurled part. Now we're going to be turning clockwise. This may seem strange at first because this is a left hand thread, so it works completely the opposite to a right hand thread. So grasping that firmly, we turn. And as you can see, the diopter ring is now loosening itself from the main body. Do this until it falls completely away and becomes detached from the main part like that. Then we grasp the main part and turn out. Keep turning and turning until it comes away from the main body. That is now completely away. On the inside you will see there is normally a retaining ring. These are slotted opposite each other. Now I'm not going to take it out now, but what you need to do, if you need to get to the inside of this lens and the inside of the eye lens, you will need to take this ring out. For that you can use a ring spanner. I tend not to use them for these because you are so close to that lens and it's so small if it slips you are bound to scratch the lens. I normally use these just for objective lenses. What I tend to use is a small screwdriver. Slot it into one of the slots there and then turn. Now this is a right hand thread, just a normal thread. So if you're going anti-clockwise it will undo it, clockwise it will do back up. This also enables you to get to the threads which means then that if there's grease or anything then you, you want to um, clean out the grease, re-grease them, you can. Now if you do need to drop the whole thing out, normally, under some of them, once you've taken off the eye cup, you will find a ring, and this can be removed. Under there, you will find screw holes, very, very fine screws again. Undo these, and the whole thing will drop right the way out. It makes much easier to get to. Again, the same thing applies. This one is split. You will find the odd ones that are. As you can see, this one is split. It enables you to take it off if you actually need to. Now, to put them back, it's exactly the same way, but opposite. You hold that, and you turn. Hold the diopter scale, and turn that way. Because it's a left hand thread, you're going up, hold the diopter scale firmly, and that's it back up. I'll show you again on this one. We put the post back in, take it down to its extent there, take the diopter scale push it up nice and neat, you will normally feel the thread go in and you just hold it and turn upwards, hold it and turn upwards and that is now as you can see going back on, that's it and that is the ocular post back together again.